Hey everyone, Kayla with Down the Diets. So today I want to talk about edema. And I talk about edema a lot because it's so common and recovery of any kind and especially after restriction and deprivation. Not only from being in a dehydrated state for a long time from diuretics or just not consuming salt or, you know, restricting salt or just from restriction of energy in general. Um, and then of course, you know, recovery from stimulant drugs or um, appetite suppressant drugs or alcohol or any kind of recovery. And so I'm gonna talk about it again. First, I want to define what is edema because you may have edema and not even know it and then think, you know, something's horribly wrong with you and you then you try to suppress it because you don't understand it. And edema is not to be feared. It is to be embraced and encouraged because your body is doing it for a very well reason. What is edema? Edema could be, not, and not limited to, you know, just puffiness all over or to a limited spot on your body. Um, it can be, you know, in your face, in your head, around your organs and your stomach, around your ankles, around your knees. You may feel inflamed and puffy and swollen, like you're going to pop. So you may feel like you're a bag of water. You may feel like you're just swollen and achy all over. And you may feel like it's painful to even walk on your feet. Also, if you press on your skin somewhere, maybe, or usually around your ankles or your knees or your face or, you know, anywhere. And you pit. So it's pitting. You push in and it's slow to react coming back out. So that's pitting. Um, that's not always like you can have one of these and have edema. You can have all of these. You can have a couple just because you have one doesn't mean, or you don't have one doesn't mean you don't have edema. And so you could have 15 pounds of water retention on your body. And then you see that scale go up, which you shouldn't be weighing yourself or focusing on the number. Right. But if you did in early recovery and you haven't ditched the scale yet, you could be frightened. You're like, holy shit, I put on like 15 to 20 pounds in a couple of days. And that's typically water retention. And it's there for good reason. And remember that, do not try to suppress water retention or edema in recovery, okay? That's what edema is. Edema is there not only for healing purposes, um, conserving purposes, so many reasons, but I'll touch on a couple right now. Conservation, you've been in a dehydrated state for so long. And so once you start to consume more sodium, which is necessary for survival, or more water, your body holds on to it, just like with energy and food. Your body is in conservation mode, so it's holding on to it in case that you're gonna be deprived again or you're gonna lose a lot of water. It needs, the body needs water to function and to heal. So it needs it regardless. You're like 90, what, 8% water? Don't quote me on that. It's something really high like that. And so regardless of if you're in recovery or not, you need a lot of water. So, but right now for healing purposes, your body conserves water. It's like a slippery medium to actually speed up recovery process. It helps push in energy and nutrients even quicker quicker into the cells as quick as possible. So this is a medium to push as much energy and nutrients in as quickly as possible. And so it's also a protective barrier. It's protecting all of the inflamed and uh, malnourished and damaged tissues and cells and organs. So especially around your midsection, you hold a lot of edema and bloating, um, around that because that's where all of your organs are, your vital organs. Um, that your brain, like you, so you get um, water retention in your head because to protect your brain and all of this, like everywhere in your body is important, but you know, especially those organs. So you're gonna feel uh, bloated, whether it's from the rebalancing of your metabolism and digestion, but also water retention to protect and encapsulate those organs to protect. So that's also why you gain more weight to the midsection of your belly because it's a protective barrier right now. Your body is in healing mode and it needs to protect this at all costs because it's been so damaged and depleted for so long that your body cannot risk any more threats to your organ system and any of that for that matter. So fat and water, 
They are there for protection and healing. And the body will let go of all of this stuff when it's ready. You can't control, you can't step in and think that you're ready to let go of the water retention or the fat, so your body should let go because you think you're ready. No, the body knows and it will slowly start to release this stuff when it's ready. And this only happens when you are consistent with not restricting in any way. So not restricting any foods, any macronutrients, any minerals, salt, and not restricting yourself so it doesn't feel in a threat that it will be starved of water and energy or food. So think of yourself like a baby, okay? You're like a baby in a sense. <laughs> Your body is having to go through all of the healing of the digestion and the organs and repairing all of these tissues, just like when a newborn has to go through all of this. So in the beginning, babies are super swollen and just puffy everywhere. And you know, you poke at them and there's a lot of just fat and water. It's there for healing and growing and um, preparing and, you know, getting all of the nutrients that are coming in at such a crucial time and getting them in there quickly and efficiently. You're going to be puffy all around just like a baby. And you're going to be, you know, you're going to have some stomach upset and rebalancing inconsistency with your bowels and super gassy just like a baby. Um, maybe regurgitation the nausea, the GERD acid reflux, your stomach can't quite, it doesn't know how to function properly just yet because it hasn't had solid food in a while or not enough of it. So um, it's been starved of nut nutrients. So it's actually started to shut down and not produce digestive enzymes anymore. And it started to shut off your liver and your stomach, also known as gastroparesis. And I want to do a video of that coming up. But um, yeah, that's why you may regurgitate some of the food or get acid reflux in your recovery. And so if you look to the growing, the early growing stages of a baby, you are pretty much similar to that, okay? Just in a different way. And your hormones are trying to rebalance. So this is a crucial, crucial time for repair and healing and rest. And your body is sending signals to like back off and rest as much as you can. And I know not everyone has the luxury to just rest all the time like a baby, but when you can try to listen to your body, just like I talk about this in my book, all of this stuff in my book, inflammation is a sign. It's a communication tool that the body uses, nonverbal communication. Uh, just like hunger signals and satiety signals. Inflammation is a sign to, you know, stay off of it. So just think of when you stub your toe and, you know, it becomes red and it becomes swollen and achy and sore. And that's a sign to stay off of that until your body is able to heal that part of your body. So in recovery, you may feel swollen and achy and pain and inflammation all over because restrictive Diets, restrictive eating disorders of any kind, restriction of any kind at, on any level, even for a couple of days, can cause huge problems that are similar to starvation. So any kind of restrictive diet in any way can start to mimic this. Edema can be scary. It is so scary, especially if we don't understand what's going on. And really, it's just a matter of stepping out of the body's way and just letting your body do its thing. Your body knows what it's doing. And uh, we try to step in and try to control the process. And that's the worst thing you can do. And you'll never fully come out of recovery if you're constantly trying to step in and be like, whoa, like, um, this isn't okay, I need to get my body back in check. Or um, just get the fuck out of your body's way and let it let it do its thing. Your body is so intelligent and it's, there's, it's doing so much at all times that we don't even realize and we think we know more than the body. Like, we seriously need to quit and just let go and hand it over to the body and trust in the process and trust that your body is doing what it's doing because of your actions leading up to this, whether you did it on purpose or not, uh, restriction in any way, or you know any kind of harm that we inflict on the body in so many different ways, the body has to go through a healing process and it takes time. And because we're in this mindset, a quick fix, instant gratification, pill mentality, we want it now and we want it uh, how we think we should have it, the way we want it to be. It's just not reality. Uh, things worth having in life take a lot of time. 
whether it's in your business, whether it's recovery, whatever, um, you're not going to be an overnight success. <laughs> like, it's just how it is. Like, you have to work for it. You have to do the work and be patient and believe in yourself and your body and trust in this process and just let go and be consistent and over time things will happen slowly. Like I said, if you want to hear more about this, I mean it's so important this topic, edema and water intention. That's why I have a whole chapter on it in my book. That's why I have a whole module on it in my uh, seven week coaching program or coaching course. If you want to hear more about it, you can enroll in that or get the book or if this helped you, I'm so glad I wanted to touch on this again. I've written a blog post on it and I wish that when I was in recovery, I dealt with my edema and it lasted for over 10 months, you know? So over a year actually, and that was scary. And I couldn't find a lot of information on edema and recovery uh, when I was going through it. And I just, I found something and it helped ease my mind and just trust in the process and just having that knowledge, knowing that it was okay and that it was gonna go away and it was there for a reason, helped me to be patient and just let the body do its thing. So that's why I talk about it so much because I wish that I heard more about it. And um, I did some things to probably prolong the edema going away. So, you know, if you can just not <laughs> do that, um, just let go and let it be, you can probably not prolong your recovery as well. So I remember in my recovery, like I was so edemic and swollen. I talk about this in other videos, but I'll just say it again. I, you know, I was crying to my dad at one point. Like I couldn't even walk across the hallway without my feet feeling like they were just painful and needles on the bottom of my feet and they were so swollen and my ankles and I thought it just looked unhealthy and that I was unhealthy and what I was doing, I was doing something wrong and recovery just wasn't for me and I needed to go back to the diets and I needed to go back to the restriction to gain back control and get back to looking a certain way. But every time I tried to do that, I just made it worse and it didn't go away because my body was already like, no, we need to heal right now. Like, I don't think so, Missy. And so, yeah, that didn't work. I was crying and... He didn't understand, but he was there for me and so supportive, but you know, it was frustrating and confusing and discouraging. It's discouraging, but you know, just stick with it. It will go away if you're consistent and you don't self-sabotage in your recovery. I hope that helped you. And if you have any other questions, send them on over. Um, I also am adding Q and A's, bi-weekly Q and A's to my seven week coaching program, the online course. You can ask as many questions as you want in there and I'm gonna be answering those and you get access to all of them. There's gonna be a whole library and I'm really excited about that. Uh, a lot of people have been requesting that as an added feature. So yeah, I'm gonna dive in and just be answering all the questions. So what one question may be for one person may help another. And um, yeah, it's just gonna be a good addition to that. The link for that is below, or you just go to damnthediets.com slash master course. If not, then just stay tuned to any upcoming YouTube videos that I do. The best of luck to wherever you are on your recovery journey. And it does get better, but just remember that this requires patience and trust and consistency and being honest with yourself. So yeah, I will see you in the future. Bye guys.